Hello everyone, welcome again. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we are going to finalize our development environment setup. So in the last tutorial, I have explained how you can install Selenium in Python. So we have successfully did it with the pip. Now in this tutorial, we'll go to the PyCharm and see how the project can be created. So how we'll create the project and then setting up the interpreter so interpreter we have already seen a little bit but then um, you might face certain issues so i'll go through and walk all of those points so that in case you face issues during development environment setup you can you know how to rectify those so let me open pycharm and so I, as we have installed the community edition i launch it and we'll go through and understand some of the key details within pycharm and the selenium that we have installed so you can see it's preparing uh, workspaces and during the installation of pycharm we already created one of the project right so there's the folder there's the project that we have created now uh, the next thing to is to basically understand the selenium that we have installed the library selenium library that we have installed how you will be able to verify that it is available for you in pycharm so this is the project, the sample project that we created. So in order to verify the Selenium library, you simply select the project. So this is the project Python Selenium. I'll select it and then click on file and go to settings. All right. Now in the settings, if you go to the project here, so project, select the project and here you will see the Python interpreter. Okay. So click on Python interpreter and you can see the Python interpreter that I have selected is Python 3.9, right? So this is the interpreter that is on the system. So please make sure that you do not uh, select any of the virtual environment. Make sure you select the interpreter that is local on your machine. And then you ensure that the Selenium that has been installed, say for example, you are having multiple versions of Python, then in that case, it might be possible when you're installing Selenium, you might have installed it for say, for, for example, Python 2 and not 3. So in case here you have selected Python 2, you won't be having this Selenium visible here because maybe the Selenium that you have installed is for Python 3 and interpreter that you have selected is Python 2, right? So you have to make sure that you choose the right interpreter where you have installed Selenium and you will see Selenium packages are installed. So these are the packages that uh, we installed as part of the Selenium installation. And these are available in the package list here. And as you see Selenium in this package list, that means the Selenium has been installed successfully for you in this particular uh, instance and is uh, it is available in your project, right? So whatever project you create, make sure you go to the project settings and ensure you are using the right python interpreter and that interpreter that instance or uh, the python instance has this particular selenium package in case you can't see it here and you are sure that this is the interpreter that you will be using from pycharm directly you can just click on the plus sign here so click on plus to install selenium directly from here so click on plus here and then just type in selenium okay and you'll see selenium appear so this is the first option that you see that is what we are looking for so we'll simply choose selenium and let me move it here so here you can see this is python bindings for selenium and this is the version you can see that it is from selenium hq which is the official website of selenium right so make sure you choose the one that is only Selenium. There are lots and lots of other Selenium packages, but you just have to simply choose Selenium and then click on install package, right? So if you will choose this install to user site package direct directory, it will only install in the user in that particular user instance. So do not check that, leave it unchecked and click on install package and Selenium will be installed and then it will be available here in the package list all right so these are some of the tips and tricks to basically um, make sure that the selenium installation is available in your project 
that we'll be working with and going through the uh, going through uh, the script creation or the automation script creation for selenium python automation okay so once this is all done you can just click ok uh, i have clicked cancel because i my selenium is already installed now what we'll do is we'll simply go ahead and create a new project right so this is the project that we created during the uh, installation of pycharm we'll create a new project a brand new project and we will give it a proper name okay so what i'll do is this is our say for example workspace i'll use the same folder and here i'll create a new folder okay so within this i'll create the folder uh, python selenium and i'll name it as uh, just python selenium project one okay so this is our, our demo project that we'll be mostly working with so python selenium project one and click ok and now within this python selenium i'll be having this folder created i'll use this folder to create my project right so now we do not need to choose any new environment or the virtual environment here we will use the previously configured interpreter so we'll use the interpreter that is there so 3.python 3.9 we'll simply choose that from our drop down and i'll uncheck this as of now so create uh, i don't want the main file as of now i'll just create um, configure the interpreter and create a new project okay so here once i create the new project i'll get this option open a project i can choose to open the project in this window or new window i'll just choose this window and it will open the project in the same window all right so now if you see that python selenium project one is open and it is available for us if i want to choose the or i want to see the details within this particular project i'll go to the settings so select the project and go to settings and i'll i'll see the project details and the interpreter details and whether selenium is available there so packet selenium is available our setup is all good and we are good to go ahead and set up the browser drivers and start writing our first script okay so that's all for this particular tutorial on troubleshooting few of the things if they do not appear if you selenium library doesn't appear and how to create a new project choose the right interpreter that we'll be using in the particular project and get ready ourselves to write the first script with selenium python so that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.